Hello everyone, Jose Rodriguez here. Today is a bright sunny day, too hot to go outside, so I am in my nice cool print room. And I want to bring you up to date as to what's going on with the Precision Colors Pro 1 ink set, the Canon Pro 1. He just received the addition of the two grays that were needed, and he's not satisfied with them. That's how that's how precise this guy is, and that's I guess that's why they call it precision colors. Anyway, so he has asked me to send them samples of my OEM dark gray and OEM light gray, which I have right here. So I'm sending him a full two ounces of each, and he's going to go ahead and do a match. So he's going to make sure that the light gray and the dark gray that you receive with the what is basically the pro 10 ink set which is already established plus those two grays that makes up the difference so that it can become a pro one ink set he wants to make sure that it matches oem quality and he has done that with the other 10 colors that he sells as the pro 10 ink set he has matched it to the pro 10 oem inks so that's where we are at. I'm going to send this to him tomorrow. So he's not satisfied. Others, I won't mention who, I'm getting a set from them probably likely tomorrow or Friday. We will see. I will do my own swatch type matching between the two grays and see where they differ. He currently did a comparison between his Pro 10 ink set that he currently sells using standard images and then he compared it with so-called OEM matched inks for the Pro 10. No, there was no match. They were different. His match and other people's inks that are claimed to be OEM matched did not, which is really interesting. I'm going to get the full details from him as I am about to email him concerning this whole um, plan that we have okay so I'm gonna also take some photographs of this and he's gonna actually house the sales portion of it for me I'm actually gonna do the shipping so I'll be drop shipping from the United States to USA addresses only and possibly Canada I cannot at this point uh, ship overseas as I stated I need to um, explore those possibilities to see how how much it's going to cost because remember I'm covering the shipping myself which is about 11 plus dollars so I'm actually going to charge I think it was a hundred and five dollars for the complete set a syringe and special tip okay including chips as well what might happen is that Precision Colors will not be ordering chips. I will either provide you with the links to the chips that you can just buy in lots of five as you see fit. And that might be the cheapest way to go. Actually it comes out to about $2.25 per chip. So that's not bad. That plus a $14 or $15 bottle of ink, which will get you three complete refills. Remember these go for at least mid thirties per cart. So we will see. And before you commit to anything, I will be testing all of this and show you in front of you, in front of the camera, what the results are and how they compare to original inks. Hopefully they'll be close enough for you to be able to decide whether this is a good way to go in one way that will save you tons of money. And if it reflects at all by what I got with the Pro 9500, I'll be more than happy to do the switch myself. Okay. Now, let me show you what I just received just this afternoon. Remember, these Canon sales that are out there, some of them are buy one, get two, buy one, get four, buy one, get nine, buy one, get five. Uh, you just have to constantly look and look and look and look. And there's a lot of these deal websites where they have deals from many, many diverse companies out there. And they provide you the links and even special codes for like another 15% discount at the end. Listen to what I got here. Let's open this up while we're just here chit-chatting. I don't know if you can see this, but 
What I have here is a box with six boxes, 50 sheets each, of photo paper plus semi-gloss from Canon. This normally goes for $99.99. So I bought one, okay? I bought one for $99.95. Then I got the 50% off coupon plus shipping. It was $63.50. Except there are six boxes here, folks. So not only did I get buy one, get two, but I got an extra three boxes of paper. So I got a total of six boxes. Did I do that right? Yeah. Six boxes of paper for the price, actually half price of one box plus shipping. Incredible. This is over nearly, if you add another 10 or $15, I think it was nearly $700 worth of paper for $63.53 it was maybe all right so that's you know keep your eyes open for these I also have some 5x7 paper coming in in some 8x10 I think is the real glossy stuff um, comes in 20 sheets per pack so I got the one by one get nine with those and that was a total of uh, something like $14 worth so it was actually going to be a hundred almost two hundred dollars worth of paper so that is it. That is a good deal to get. Don't miss those. Get them. Look all, the, all over these printing forums. These guys get a hold of these emails because they actually ask to be notified. And I don't do that. I really have enough paper right now, but I just could not pass this up. But anyway, go to these forums like uh, the Deep Preview Forum, the Printer Knowledge Forum, uh, Luminous Landscape Forum for Printing, and there people will be posting these all the time as soon as they come up and they differ I mean it, it's sometimes this paper you really don't need like they have a really good one for this uh, same size but matte the Canon matte paper as well so great buys when you do when you go that route and I might go ahead and buy some of that matte assuming that the deal is still intact it may be gone already they only last for a few days at a time all right that is it just wanted to share these little bits of news and these um, deals with you guys. I hope you enjoy them. Take advantage of these. It really, really does cut down on your printing costs. This is the same paper you would pay, I told you, 100 bucks for, plus tax if you buy it locally. So do that. And that way you can just print at your heart's content and not have to worry too much about the high cost of printing. Why is that important? It keeps your printers exercise you will no longer have to worry about your printer clogging because I can't afford the ink or the paper to print as often as the printer demands of me yeah well there are ways to go around that and beat the system so to speak so that you can actually print in the frequency that you should be printing in to avoid all of these problems that are mostly due to our I'll say I'll, I'll include myself our neglect of our printers by not printing at least weekly on them. That's it. I'm going to come back in about a few seconds. I'm going to stop this video and then I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about QImage and some of the things that people have been saying on some of these forums. There's a this particular editing and processing application just brings out the best and worst of people and I'll just I'm going to address that in the next video. So please look for that all right thank you so much again the support is great keep keep at it we want to get this channel self-supporting without any kind of worries about having to go through monetizing our videos and making you watch ads if that happens by the end of the year then I will go ahead and demonetize every video that we have and we'll turn it into a basically free channel free as in respect to the fact that we won't have to rely on Google to support the channel. All right, so patreon.com and PayPal. If you get some information that saves you a certain amount of money, feel free to donate a couple of bucks back to the channel. We'll take that money and put it again to use in bringing you the best of the best. That's my goal. I will not be pocketing a single penny. I promise you, everything is going to the channel and to bring you guys the best of the best, like I said. Thank you. So, 
Please subscribe, please like, please share, and as always, happy printing, and bye-bye.